Irene here, and today I'll be showing you guys a brand new recipe. And this recipe does not include any detergent or borax. It just includes one thing called Blistex Lip Balm. So let's go over the ingredients. So the ingredients you'll be needing are something to mix in, something to mix with, some clear or white glue. I'm using some white all-purpose Elmer's glue some baking soda, and lastly, some Blistex lip balm. And this uh, lip, lip balm will only work if it includes sodium borate. All right, guys, so I'm gonna start off by pouring in some clear or white Elmer's glue. So that's about enough. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a, a little bit around half a teaspoon of baking soda. And we're going to take our popsicle stick and start to mix. It will get thicker since this is a dry powder. All right. So now what we're going to do is we are going to take our Blistex lip balm. And we're going to open it up to just a little bit of a bigger amount. I go for about that much at a time. So I'm just going to wipe that off and plop it right into my bowl of glue. So we're gonna slowly start to kind of mash it up inside of our bowl. So like slowly start to mash it up and then start to mix. Okay, we probably might need some more or if you want to, you can simply just melt this in the microwave, but I prefer not to because as the time when we can put it back into our slime, it will already start to harden, and our slime will become hard once we start playing with it. So you can continue mushing up that little lip balm piece and keep on mixing. All right, guys, so my slime is still pretty sticky, so I'm just going to get a little bit more of some lip balm here and plop that into the glue there. Mush it up. Okay, and then continue on mixing. So the sodium borate sort of acts like a borax kind of thing, and it makes a pretty good slime. I recommend making a smaller batch so that you don't need to use as much lip balm. So I'm just going to add a little bit more because it's not fully sliming up just yet. So let's just chop off a little piece. What? Oh! And then pop it in there. Mush it up and mix. As you guys can see there is still a little bit of chunks in our slime still so we're gonna continue on mashing and mixing. Alright guys so just remember you can use any lip balm as long as it includes some sodium borate. So as soon as you keep on stirring it up your slime will start stop sticking to the sides so you can then stick take it off Alright guys, so I got on my kneading mat, so now I'm going to start to knead. So let's just push that aside. Alright, so let's start kneading. So it is a pretty thick slime. It is pretty dry, it's not very moisturizing. And as you guys see, there's a chunk right there. So what you could do is just kind of rub it on your hands. I know it sounds a bit crazy and weird, but after you can just wash it off. It sort of acts like shaving cream in our shaving cream slime. It will smell like your lip balm. Okay, so we, if we flatten this out a little bit, it doesn't really make too much noise, but it is pretty stretchy, if I can say so myself. And I really enjoyed making this slime. Alright guys, so don't forget to comment down below what type of lip balm you use. I like to use Blistex or EOS, my favorite scent, is the pomegranate kind of flavor and it does smell really good. Alright guys, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to become an official minion and peace. Although my peace sign is deformed, still peace.